Hello, 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 and good evening. Uh, it's time for another ITSL game. And tonight I am playing Yanis Kaltsas. Um, and I am the USSR. Let's get to it. This will be my um, ninth ITSL game of the year. I'm currently at a 6 2 win. Uh, yeah, I think 6 2. Let me just double check that. Sounds too good to be true. No, it is actually true. 6 to win rate at 75 percent which is is very good for being for me um fourth place in my division so let's see if i can keep that win streak going um uh, not a bad starting hand vietnam revolts asia socialist governments to call all sorts of lovely things here all right kind of a spontaneous game. We were about to uh, decide on a date and a time for it, and then we realised we could both play tonight. So, uh, that worked out nicely. I'm not sure if I've played Yanis before. No, I have not. Alright. So, I think I'm going to try and go for the Vietnam headline here with Asia, and then forfeit the AR1 coup if, um, if, I, um, if I manage to get Vietnam, if he doesn't affect it. Then we can use De Gaulle, I might hold De Gaulle, and use it on um, AR1 one next turn, or possibly on AR6 this turn, depending on the situation. Right, so he's going for a standard setup. Uh, I'm going to try this. I think it's worth a shot. Alright, there we go. Europe is out of the, of the game for now, but I get to do Asia scoring, which I will do. Right, so here's the question. Because you could go um, into Laos and Thailand here, but I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to score it, and then if he wants to have a coup war in, in Vietnam, we could do that. I'm fine with that. Early space is nice as well. NORAD is going to space. But I think that I will I will go for the Kuno if I if I'm allowed in Iran probably. Seeing as Europe just got scored, although Italy is always tempting. But my only four up is Viet is US Japan, and that's not something I want to use if I can avoid it. Alright, it's going for Middle East Don. I think if he had the Middle East, he would have uh, headlined it rather than Europe. So, I'm going to assume that he doesn't. And just go for a coup in Iran. There we go. Nice. Could have played NASA here as well. Would have worked. But... I think coup is more important, and also to block off the way into Pakistan, etc, etc. Um... So what am I going to do with US Japan if I'm spacing NORAD? And if I want to hold the goal? I could just give him it. I could take South Korea with it. Yeah, I think so. But the question is, do I really want to hold the goal? 
Maybe not anymore. Uh, that Europe got scored. Could leave him in the duck. Could use the ops because I kind of want to use my Vietnam bonus as well. Which is also a reason I would like to bring Defcon down one more step, but that could be dangerous. I think space is my next priority, unless he does something that I have to respond to. Right, so he just fills up that. Yeah. I will leave that for now, and I will space. There we go, two points. And I got my fourth mill up there as well. The war, so that's nice. Well, no more scoring cards. Well, he's going for domination there. Kind of okay with that. Now, um, hmm. So, I'm a little bit worried about if I go into Thailand now or Pakistan that he will coup. And I kind of want to hold on to US Japan for a counter coup. So that makes means I kind of have to use the goal to coup. I think I'll play NASA. Because I wanted to event that anyway. <clears throat> Don't want to help him too much with his mill ops either. It's, it's a tough, it's always a tough decision. This when you, if you want to bring the DEFCON down, as the Soviets to sort of be safe in Asia, or if, but then you also help him because he wants to lower DEFCON to not use mill, not lose mill ops. Um, at the same time, I don't want to just walk into Thailand because then he could he could throw a four up car there and do a coup that would give him all his mill ops and possibly steal Thailand, and then I'd have to fight over that. Alright, he goes for the coup. And it fails. Well, sort of, anyway. Um, then I'm just going to go for a coup with Truman here. And then I guess I could hold the goal, or I could hold you as Japan. I mean, I want to use my um, my Vietnam bonus, but I also have to fill up the Middle East, so I'm not going to be able to anyway. Okay, here comes to call uh, D style um, early, and then I might as well use you as Japan, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I would love to take South Korea with this, but I, I feel like I have to. Could put one there. And then take Thailand. We'll see.
Red Scare and Blockade. Marshal probably to space. But also CAA, which is actually fine. Um, right now. But the question is, do I go for a De Gaulle headline, try and steal France? Do I go for Red Scare with Blockade? We've already seen D style, so blockade is not it's not strictly necessary. If I were to headline either of these two, I'd rather he defected to Gaul than purge. There's quite a few war ops left, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm NATO and nuclear test ban are unaccounted for. Hmm. But the call the goal is obviously slightly more effective when he has already put influence into France. <clears throat> um, let's try this and see what happens. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't play Purge. Or maybe I'm I'm sad I didn't. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I'm worried about a coup in Iran here from him if I if I fill up France now. Because then he will be... I feel like I kind of have to coup... If I coup Egypt... Actually, let's go. Um, hmm. And then he can take France, but then I can take Libya. Oh, right. Um, hmm. Cheap Suez. Oh, is contained. Right. Uh, that makes it difficult for me to take France. So I won't.
Seriously? Well, I don't have the ops to fight this. I hope he doesn't have Fidel. I think if I were him and I had Fidel now, I would uh, space him. Wow, CNS for Ops. I don't think I would have done that. I'm, I guess he wants to go to Zio. But, yeah, no. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Here comes CAA. I'm not in the mid-war regions. So I'm fine. Always a bit scary to hold CIA until AR6, but obviously it's what you want to do if you can. Um, I um, had the Middle East scoring, and then I didn't have a great hand, so I didn't really want to show him that I was just holding blockade and marshal. But it's something you, you often do as the Soviets, and I'm, I'm thinking as the US... If you haven't seen CIA yet, you kind of want to trigger Fidel quickly. Because as the Soviets, you're kind of not expecting the US to do that. Alright, that goes into Pakistani war. Good to know. He's really overprotecting France. De Gaulle has been triggered. Suez has been triggered. It's just socialist governments. Alright, not a bad hand. And I get these two again. And Europe scoring. So now the, the game really wants me to do something. And now we also know he has defectors. So that's not, that's not a great opportunity for that. In fact, I don't really have a headline. And... 
what else does he have? Because I'm thinking Europe scoring here in the headline would be pretty cool if he's if he's he goes straight for defectors. I don't think I would do that in in AR th in turn three. Uh, I would do something else um, because it's it's too obvious. Um, but he's got the uh, he's got uh, defectors. He's got the Korean War. He is uh, he's got. Um, Uh, what else have we not seen? He's got um, no. We've seen all the four ops. He's got Fidel. Special. No, we saw that. Human intervention. We saw that as well. Mm-hmm. Olympic Games, I think. Yeah. So he's got defectors, Olympic Games, Fidel, and Korean War. Might be it. Um I mean I don't think Europe is... The only way Europe is getting better is if I headline Red Scare and then also play Blockade and then play Europe. But I know he's got defectors, so headlining Red Scare here is is a huge risk. I think it's more likely that he will just play defectors, so I'll just headline this. <gasps> no. Damn it. He was smarter than that, certainly. <coughs> we had seen Duck before, so that was not a known card, right? Yeah. Too bad, too bad. Oh well, time to spread out into the world then. It's a lot of points in one go. Not happy with that. NATO doesn't trigger. Kind of. Oh, I feel like I have to go Asia here. Hope he hasn't redrawn the wall. And then space is not strictly necessary right now. If he spaces, I kind of want to space, though, because I want to get to the two points. If he doesn't space, then I might be fine with not spacing. I'm trying not to space as much as I want to, because a lot of times I do it and it's not really strictly necessary, but, but those two points are really crucial. Especially now that I just gave him, like, eight points in one go. And he has to hold a card for blockade as well. Uh, we've seen all the um, the red three ops by now, so he failed. So that means I'm, I'm okay with not spacing. Uh, I'm going to start walking from to India from the other side. Uh, 
I think we need a bit of overprotection on North Korea as well. So he has to be holding something else for blockade. And that's a good thing. Because I don't think blockade is going to give me anything right now. I've already got T-style. Speaking of which, is that's what I should should play soon. I should have done that now, I guess. Um, he doesn't know I've redrawn that, so... 70 Europe. And go. He's holding Fidel, so he's not spacing Fidel. Could be uh, holding it. Which means I'm not going to see it. I feel like I kind of have to go with one into Cuba. Which he could easily realign. But if I don't go there now, he's not. I don't think he's going to give me Fidel. Gonna try and hold him. I don't love East European here because it's it's really only like an op for me. Um because I have to I don't want to leave East Germany and Poland on three each. So I guess I could space it at the cost of an op. But we're also getting into the mid-war and I'm going to see lots of horrible cards. So I might just want to leave that for now. Um, let's overprotect. Because I have to do that anyway. He went into Cuba there. Interesting. Um, actually, let's not do that. Let's put protect Venezuela. And Chile. No. <laughs> let's... Two there and three there. And there. Yeah, oh, anyway, like that. <clears throat> Then of course he just gave me a coup target. If I coup that, then he has to coup back. If I coup with blockade, he's going to give me... He can coup with a 2-op and get a mil op from me. Um, might as well not do it. Oh, he does go for Fidel. He plays him. After having put... Okay, interesting. Okay, now, now I kind of have to coup. Uh, with blockade into Nicaragua. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Well, at least now he can't coup back, but he can definitely realign. The ball scene is looking okay, but it's not looking great great like it's i've got asia um and unless he gets puppets early i think i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get india all right it's very strange with uh going to cuba then you play fidel then you poke cuba again Mm -hmm. South America, very good. Um, South African is nice as well, I guess. And I got grains. That's actually lovely. Um, yeah, let's headline South African. And then shuttle is not great. 
great, but... So he's going to deny me the coup, or is he going to go crazy on the DEFCON track? I think I would deny the coup here. Because he kind of... You've got Africa anyway. Yeah, it's a tough call. Oh, he puts it on four, okay. Um, I mean, I guess the... The only thing I can really do... He, he might go for a coup in Asia here. Which I really don't want. But if I coup in Africa, then he might coup in South America. I've got the scoring coming up. I would love to get domination there. Oh, sorry, control. Um, but I kind of feel like I have to... I have to protect Asia and I have to bring DEFCON down. If I kill Zaire, then at least I get Africa out of it, if nothing else. Alright, there we go. Strong coup. Because if I were him, I would coup Brazil now. No? Okay. Well, thank you. I'm happy with that. And where is Kitchen? Because, uh, well, he's got... He's plus two here. Zero. Zero. Plus one. Plus two. Uh, he's plus one. So if I take Brazil, then this is not going to trigger. Unless I've made a horrible mistake. There we go. Beautiful. I am worried about Central as well. But I think if he had it, he would play it now. If he doesn't do that, then I'm safe. I'm worried about the real lines, though. So I should coup that, but I don't know with what. What with... And then what do I use to take Chile? Eastern, East European, maybe? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Argentina. Yes. Oh, man! Oh, that was lucky. That was extremely lucky. And he's going to be very sorry about that in a, in a minute. But I can see now that why he would coup Africa instead of uh, of Europe when he's got the brush war. That was a bit unfair. I mean, you always feel robbed when you lose with the brush war. But it is really only a 67% chance. So, you know, it happens all the time. But you still feel like, you know, it's unfair if you if you lose to brush war.
wow. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, not, look not looking good there. I'm going to leave that for now. Double space. Do I want space shuttle as well and then hold five year plan? Because if I if I trigger shuttle, it could theoretically take Taiwan and I take India and then I don't have Asia Dom anymore. And the Middle East could potentially become pretty bad. So I, I'm not a fan of shuttle here. Sadat for influence. Oh, he's already got Egypt. That would be why. And we are up in space. Further up in space. I think OPEC for the event here. It's three points. It's one point per op. I feel like that would make sense. Or I could go for, um, for a coup, but that's only... One point. Seven instead of eight. It's not really worth it. I might get central and then I can five-year plan it. Well, this is holding it, but I think he would have played it earlier if he did. That is pretty strong, though. I have to give him that. It's hard for me to get in there now. Um, <laughs> Alliance is not particularly nice here. It's only three points, but still, it's... Yeah. Portuguese makes Angola coable. But I feel like I should try and get into Central, but it's it's hard, because he's got Colombia as well. Um, no, I think I'm going to go for Africa. Make up for Central that way. Okay, here's a lot of options. Do I want to give him the coup? Do I want to give him three VPs? Do I want to give him cultural? That's a point. I don't want to keep cultural in the deck. I think Comic Con is probably the the least horrible card, but that gives him gives him the coup. So ideally, something that wouldn't give him the coup that would be alliance. That's three VPs. It's not really worth it, or is it? Africa is coming up. I could swing Africa. Probably will. And Alliance, I mean, to be fair, it's usually something like two or three points, at least. Yeah, let's let's give him that. Oh, but then I can only play Miss Lamy, but that, that should be okay. Hopefully. There we go. As long as you roll well, you can do anything. Saves me having to space it as well. Um, I could space nuclear if I want, or the Pope. I think probably the Pope. Although now that I've got Africa, I don't really want to give it up. We see grains, so I don't have to worry about that. I suppose I could double space as well. I could space John Paul and then 
space five year plan, but with central looking like this, I kind of want to hold on to five year plan because there's a, I mean, it's a 50 50 chance that I get it. And <clears throat> because he hasn't played it already, I don't think he has it. Not this turn. I could play China and then play cultural, but I'd like to keep cultural in the deck, especially when we haven't triggered either Yasuri or Nixon yet. We saw Nixon, but it was it was for influence, I think. But yeah, the Pope is space priority number one, I think. If I succeed, of course, then I can't play nuclear. And then I think I'll play five-year plan. I do want to hold on to it. It would be so great if I could five-year plan central. Hmm, okay. Can I have to deal with that? Oh, uh, that creates so many threats. I have to overtake that. I don't think I have to go, like, two into India. He could have the war. I was kind of hoping Southeast Asia would, would uh, make up for Central for me, but now it looks like it probably won't, or at least not completely. We space them. Right, so I'm, I'm spacing five year plan then. <clears throat> Ooh. Not great. Well, he's not rolling well, but that was just about enough. Uh, okay, so now I don't have Africa anymore. He's got his millops now, though, so I could go, like, um... Or I suppose I could trigger nuclear subs, maybe. Let's, uh, let's do this. Hmm. Although, now that I am in this particular part of space, I kind of want to get through there as quickly as possible, so let's space again. Nice, alright. Mm-hmm. One point. And then we kind of have to play our man. This could be brutal. This could be absolutely devastating. If he draws uh, Asia or Southeast Asia. Don't like when this takes so long. Lone Gunman. There's plenty of red cards that we haven't seen yet. 
liberation. What? That was the... Alright, oh, okay. Just the one. Not great, but it, it's... It's fine. Um, hmm. Do kind of want to get... Actually, I want to get to here. I don't mind that. That's okay. Because I want to be able to go... Uh, Coup of Panama, and without him having, having access. Alright. He's catching up. Still no. Well, does he want to? I might want to space in this last AR, I guess. Now the question is, actually, no, it's not. I need to overtake that and then grab that. If Southeast Asia scoring comes up, Right, I still get to headline peak. Wow, a lot of uh, bad things. This is space. Um, voice is my hold card. I've got central, but I've also got liberation. Um, yeah, this should be okay. Unless he has defectors, but we saw defectors on turn 3, so that's fine. Yeah, okay, I should be able to get into Panama. Well, I kind of have to coup as well, as I do that, which is not great. We haven't seen Junta. He could have that. Actually, if I Brezhnev, I could space voice. I think I prefer to hold it, though, for the next turn, or maybe discard it, although I probably wouldn't discard it. There we go, Junta. Uh, so he does that before I do anything, which is nice. Mm. Yeah, that means he's going to coup, probably. So then I will be able to flip Panama without having to worry about uh, cooing at the same time. I imagine he would put two in Brazil and coup that. Of course, now he sees Liberation coming, so he might want to do something else. Maybe even forfeit the coup? He kind of has to get into South America, though. There we go. That's a nice coup. But I have to be okay with that for now. And then, I guess... So no Brezhnev then, right? Yes. And it'll come back. He doesn't have Brush War, he doesn't have ABM, so I'm hoping to get to keep that. We're also still waiting for Middle East, Asia, and Southeast Asia. He's probably holding one of those. And we also have, we haven't seen Flower Power yet. Um, with the four ops. Uh, and from the early war, Marshall. 
and nuclear test bar. No, sorry, just Marshall. Yeah, that's the only. And Red Scare. No, I saw that as well. Yeah. So Marshall is the only four up from the early war. Muslim here is really powerful because he's he's already played um, Sadat, but could take back Egypt and Saudi Arabia. All right, eventing salt. That makes me. Um, yeah, that's not nice. Makes me have to do things. I kind of have to, I kind of have to score this now. Gives him a coup in Asia. But hopefully he doesn't have a four op. Well, he just, he just, uh, salted for, um, a... B, uh, no, hang on. Yeah, he sorted for ABM, didn't he? Yes, he did, yeah. All right. I'm assuming his main goal there was to take back Panama. But Pakistan is a fairly, um, fairly, um, tempting coup target. Although with Salt, it's like cooing with a three op, which probably won't work. Same with Thailand, only it's even harder. And my African countries are actually fairly. Oh, okay. Hmm. Would have liked that before the scoring, obviously, but you can't have everything. Okay, there we go. I was going to coup one of those with independent reds, and now I don't have to do that, so that's nice. I'm assuming it's going to go for the coup now, otherwise I can use... Oh no, okay, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I kind of feel like I have to, co have to coup... ...here, though I'd love to coup... ...big roll. I'd love to coup Nigeria. Um, but yeah, it's more important. I want to keep my dom in South America, at least. I have to admit that I've rolled better than him. For the main part of this game. We're also waiting for Kennedy, which again could be horrible for my scoring cards.
Mm. No, all right. I thought it was self quagging in there for a second. He doesn't, so I'm gonna go Yusuri into space now. Oh man! Once it gets to the discard space. But I didn't strictly need to now because I'm not discarding the voice anyway. I'm gonna hold it. I play nuclear in AR7. Still holding ABM treaty. He's got six cards in his hand. Cooing with puppets. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think he's going to keep doing that unless I lower Defcon. So I will. I am rolling a lot of sixes today. Wow. Okay, that I think was uh that was not. I mean, hmm. Now I kind of have to play nuclear. Use that to coup. Maybe in. Wow, I cannot complain about my die rolls. Um, I was, yeah, I don't know. He's, I think he probably has Southeast Asia that when he's so, he's spending so much effort on, on that. And he might walk into Vietnam now, and if he does, and if Southeast Asia turns out to be a draw, then I'm kind of happy he wasted all, all those ops on it. This is getting a bit silly now. Yeah, okay, so he's clearly in... He's clearly got Southeast Asia, I think. Oh, it's two points. Um, if he's got it, then he's going to score it now. And I will do this in the meantime. <laughs> oh, this is the fun side. I see. It's fun for me. Yeah. Thought so. Well, he managed to bring it down from seven to no six to uh, to two. So uh, that's four points. But he spent a lot of effort on it. All right. Asia scoring. Um, brush war. So he's got OAS. Um, Middle East scoring. Um, I think we've seen everything else. Decol was played in turn three, right? Yeah. Um, but we haven't seen everything else for sure. <laughs> um, Kennedy. can go for Middle East Dom, and then he will use use that uh, Kennedy for that. Uh, how much is Asia right now? It's six. And then with Arms Race, that could could do it. Brush War as well. 
So let's uh, let's plan ahead. All right, he's got a VP there. Might be tricky then. But then I've also got a space. No, hang on. Sorry, that's wrong. Um, in a Pakistani war, I guess could also be a couple of points. What's my headline though? Brush war probably. Uh, and where does it go? Brazil, Italy, obviously. Beautiful, beautiful. Italy brush war. Well, only fair. After my 500 sixes. Okay, so Middle East is coming up. Um, I need to coup with something that doesn't give him VPs. Flower power, but then, you know, he could just discard it. So it doesn't really make any sense to use a strong card on on that. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not winning this turn, but it's going to be close. If all I want to do is bring down Defcon, then I might as well. I mean, I'm going to have to play this or the China card. Shuttle goes to space. Yeah, I might play the China card this turn, actually. Then maybe let's start with a coup with Brush War anyway. Into... Bolivia. Right. Um, that could still give me arms race, but at the cost of. Okay, then I have to play the China card now. To do this, to do this, and uh, this. And then he's just going to Kennedy of the Middle East. But then at least I have it. For the moment.
central as well. All right, yeah, because it's nothing right now. Yeah, okay. That was actually not too bad. Um, Asia is now six points. Why is it six points? Oh, no, it's always been six. I thought it was seven. Um, okay, yeah. Let's go ahead. No, actually, let's play um, this first. Yeah, no, I can't. I, I forgot to count arms trees, I think. Uh, I can win if I succeed in the Indo Pakistani war. Or if he just drew Africa scoring or something after his Kennedy. Yeah, that was stupid of me, wasn't it? Very, very stupid. Very, very stupid. I seriously, I seriously didn't see that. Wow, incredible. Well, I, I don't have the ops to do anything about it. I can't even take Vietnam. And he's going to take Taiwan, so that's even fewer points. What a brain fart. Fucking hell. Oh well, I've I've got quite a few points still, but that was hmm. Then the question is, do I still play the Indo-Pakistani War for the event? I suppose I might. I'm spacing shuttle. I'm triggering Nixon. Ah. Uh, it's one to four. Done it twice now. Okay, well, in that case, might as well. I feel like I have to trigger this because otherwise it'll just. He might play the China card and then I have to give it back to him, and that sucks. Still got a potential real line in South Africa. Should have played Nixon, Nixon uh, in AR7. In the Paki War now. Um. Do I still event that? It's, yeah, yeah, I think I do. Oh no, no, no! Of course, of course not. Um, do I want to go for the real line there? Plus, no, I don't think so.
it's kind of one of those situations now where I feel like a good American late war could flip the points around. Get war games. So maybe not then. I still get to see his headline. Wonder about socialists here, maybe. But it doesn't really do anything. It stops Europe. But even if you were to score Europe now, then I still get to still get to war games. Turn up space card. Terrorism is always a nice headline too. Actually, we... no. <laughs> okay, um, no, that's only two point... three points. It's actually helping me. Hmm, okay. Sorry, dude. Hmm. All right, another win, um, so I continue my winning streak, but I feel like I, I feel like I played okay in this one. Not, not great, but like, everything was under control most of the time. Um, but, uh, that Asia blunder in the end could have cost me the game if, if he had sort of, uh, um, If I hadn't gotten war games. Um, yeah, if I didn't get war games there, then it could have dragged on, and then PPs were down to um, um, 10. I think it would have been okay, as long as Africa or South America comes up and I get the scoring, but. Um, if he had flipped Asia now, for example, I, he wouldn't really be able to. Because I can take back both of these. Not quite, actually. Yeah, he might flip Asia here. Or at least make it neutral. And that's a lot of points. And then we would have to see. I mean, Europe is really weak as well. So Chernobyl followed by um, East European unrest or um, tear down or whatever could have could have ruined me. So I was really lucky there to get war games early and not have to worry about that. Could have been a different different end to the game, easily. Um, but I, I think I would have had to play it quite a lot into Europe this turn, uh, in order, if I didn't get war games, so um, I might have been okay still. Probably. I think I was more likely to win than to lose in final scoring, but um, but yeah. Um, anyway, that's not what happened. I got war games and it was over. So, thanks for watching. There'll be another game shortly, I think. Don't know exactly when, though. Uh, until then, and if it doesn't happen before Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, see you next time.